Welcome everyone. We've got a mess to clean up after cutting down the last firewood tree for the year. It's also a great opportunity to gather this stuff up and get it up to the burn pile and uh, allows me to get caught up a little bit on the cleanup work. This stuff is uh, still pretty dry even though we've had a lot of rain and snow and freezing rain over the past couple of weeks. So I don't mind to go ahead and get it to the fire while we can still burn it. Stuff like this will burn quite a while. Put these guys in there. Normally after a big ice storm like we had come through last week, I have four or five days of picking this kind of stuff up, but so far so good. Everything looks pretty well clean other than the mess that I have made. I am glad to see springtime starting to make an appearance and 70 degrees again today. Great day to be outside working. And I do enjoy being back here in the woods and keeping everything clean, just part of it. It does help us for our trail rides and being able to play disc golf back here when we choose to as well. Uh, this is the fairway actually uh, for hole number nine. So I don't want to leave this stuff laying down on the ground. Now that is one thing I will say about either the bandsaw mill or the chainsaw mill. Uh, the milling is the easy part. <laughs> it's the cleanup, getting the tree down to the ground, uh, the tops cut out of etc. And then, you know, down to the point where you're milling. So there's a lot of work involved there. Now it's a fantastic way to get both firewood as well as building material. So. It's definitely worth it, but like I said, there's there's a lot going on that uh, sometimes doesn't make it to the video. and see how we do. This thing does make it a little easier to bring things to the back of the trailer. Sometimes doesn't work quite as quickly as I'd like it to, but you know, that's part of it. Roll that guy out of there. Flying over. 
springtime is my favorite time of the year. You get to see a lot of things really start to move around and the wildlife is really starting to become active. It's a great time to be outside. Down about right there. This stuff can be a fight. You'll get it sitting on the trailer nice, and then run up through there and hook one of these limbs on the tree that's standing. If you ain't careful, you can empty the whole trailer out. <laughs> Never where you want it to, you understand. That's part of the fun of it. I said this in the video when we took down that big tree the other day. But that really does clean up all the dead snags out of this area. And I'd say that's also contributing to the reason I don't have to pick up a bunch of sticks this year. The trees are all starting to look healthy now. And uh, it just takes time being able to use as much of it as I can before we do the process where we're at this morning taking it to the band pile. A little more work to do guys. We've got this area looking really nice back here. And it is ready for golf. The temperature's just about perfect being outdoors. come back here and pick you guys up and I stepped across the creek I'd found a small chip from an arrowhead well, then naturally once I find something like that I get to looking around <laughs> I've been back here for 30 minutes now looking through the creek I haven't found anything yet other than a couple of broken chips off of them boy that's a lot of fun and after winter time and all the uh, rain and snow and things like that that we've had a lot of times it will expose them back here in the creek uncover something we haven't got to see before that water's cold Better get back to work. I guarantee you, looking for these things is a lot more fun than what we're doing. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, this is done just in time because it's really starting to get muddy out here. So I won't drag any more up to the pile today. This will be the last. Well, the one and only load, I should say. Bring this stuff over and get it burnt. 
you need about three good days of sunshine to dry this stuff out. What we have here, guys, is all the tops and branches out of the cedar tree. And you can see how it's holding the pile up. Now, the needles from the cedar tree will catch on fire quickly. But then that leaves all the sticks and things like that from the branches just suspended and it can't actually get enough heat in order to keep it burning. So what I'm going to do, the bigger logs that we brought up, I'm going to try to back my trailer up here and get them thrown right on top of this stuff to compress it. And I also have a load of smaller sticks that was dry that I picked up yesterday afternoon and brought in and put here in this corner. The wind's coming up out of the south this morning, so I'm going to light this end of the fire, and that way it blows the heat across this and helps dry it out. Again, this thing had snow on it two days ago, and uh, it has been a very wet month for us. But I think we can dry it out. Uh, the torch is going to get it lit up pretty quick for us. Light us a fire. I got a feeling now that we have the material we needed to get the weight pushing this down, this thing's probably going to go pretty quick. I'm going to get right down here in the bottom of this guy. I'm not going to open it up wide open. I'm just going to let it set in there and start finding something that it can catch on fire. And then once it does, the wind's going to help us and push that into the middle where we actually need it. All right. Get us moved back out of the way. I think that's going to go. Another word of caution here. This thing is exceptionally hot now at the end of it for obvious reasons. So careful that you don't set that down on your shoe or touch that thing. 
Make sure it cools down thoroughly before you disconnect it from the tank. That way you don't have any problems there. That wind is traveling into there perfectly to dry the rest of that pile out for us. That's going to burn great, guys. Well, our spring cleanup is almost done. I'll be glad to have this out of the way. We should start seeing the deer and uh, other animals traveling through. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope some of the information helps you. If you're clearing ground, this is one of the things that you'll be dealing with. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. It's going to burn in here deep now, of course, guys. Let's just catch all of that.